Our next game, the Bears upset the Lions. Justin Fields' success against the Lions continues, Jay. Throws for 223 yards. The touchdown also adds in 58 yards rushing with another rushing touchdown. And the song remains the same. When Justin Fields plays, DJ Moore plays well, Jay. Yep. This is the bizarre game. Uh, D gets that free pass on the 4th and 13 after somehow it wasn't intentional grounding on the previous play. Seems like the most blatant intentional grounding I've ever seen. But, I mean, Fields, he when he is playing like this, and it feels like he goes through this uh, kind of journey every year. But now that he's, he's throwing the ball deep, he's running, and when he gets a bad defense, he can light them up. But I think the big story, fantasy-wise, out of this is Deonta Foreman. Is, he's their back, Matt. A thousand percent. Seventy-three percent of the team's running back carries in his return. He, he, had, he averaged four point five yards per carry. It's the second highest in a game this season. He also had the second most receiving yards in a game this season. Foreman not really known for his passing game prowess, but you see it there on your screen. Two for twenty-two in the passing game. Not a lot, but it's more than Herbert and Rashawn Johnson combined. Neither of them got a target in the game, and so I think it's very clear that to the extent you want a Bears running back. Deontay Foreman is the guy. Now they're playing Chicago, the Cleveland next week. So okay, yeah, but then home to Arizona, home to Atlanta at Green Bay. So given that the the team is winning, the Bears now have won back to back games for the first time this season, and they went right back to Foreman. He's the guy that I think you want in this offense. Tough day for the Lions. Jared Goff, 161 passing yards, touchdown throws the two picks. Monroe St. Brown, he had nine targets, but he only catches three of them for 21 Brutal. yards. The Lions, Brutal Lions are just in an all-around rut. Right they now. are. They don't look, look like the team we saw the first two months of the season. No, they don't. Look, the Bears have an excellent defense. Correct. And that yeah. is that has changed over the second half of the season. They are a legitimately excellent defense now. And it's just Jared Goff outdoors. It's been the same yeah. story his entire career. <laughs> Jared Goff outdoors in the cold against a good defense. He just does not play well. He plays in domes the rest of the way, though, so they'll, they'll be fine. That, that is a positive. Also, by the way, again, we've always talked about this. Goff is much better when he has time. Yeah. Their offensive line was banged up yep. coming into this game. Like, they had some backups out there as well, so hopefully they get healthy. But, the, the, yeah, the good news is, is, like, he's in domes the rest of the way. The bad news is, look at who he's in a dome against. So yep. they're home to Denver this Saturday. Then he's at Minnesota. That defense is improving. At Dallas, also on a Saturday, and then home to Minnesota. Yep. So, I mean, like, there's not a push over there. I mean, no. Minnesota's kind of a middle-of-the-pack defense, but Denver's playing really well, and Dallas is Dallas. So, you know, the positives are at least that it's that the, those games are indoors. But I don't know that we're fully out of the woods yet on the Lions offense getting back to where they need to be. This is a bad day at the office for the entire team. Both running backs, by the way, didn't get a lot of work either. At least Gibbs gets into the end zone. Yep, they need to get their offensive line healthy. Hey, it's Matthew Berry from NBCSports.com and RotorWorld.com, and I want to thank you so much for watching whatever it is you just watched, or if nothing else, being too lazy to click out of the autoplay after this video started, after whatever it is you actually wanted to watch finished. But now that you're here, I'd like to take a moment here to ask you respectfully, respectfully now, okay, I'm asking you respectfully to subscribe to the NFL on NBC YouTube channel. You'll get the latest Roto World fantasy news headlines, all sorts of great shows, including my own Fantasy Football Happy Hour. So go subscribe now. Again, I'm asking respectfully.